Hi, Beat Buddies. Jonathan here, Sam 40 from the forum. Uh, there have been a number of questions that people have been raising and issues regarding um, the Beat Buddy Manager software. So, specifically, there's been some people that have been having problems in knowing how to install it, others, difficulty in knowing how to use it. So, rather than explain it in a post, I thought, well, let's just make a video um, to show you how it should work and how I'm using it, and hopefully that will help you. So first of all, you need to install the BeatBuddy Manager software. So the easiest way of getting to it is to go to mybeatbuddy.com forward slash downloads, which takes you to this area here. Um, here we've got a quick start guide, a BeatBuddy manual, and the BeatBuddy Manager. So if you click on that, it will take you to the forum where the announcement was made. Also here you will have an SD card backup. This is the latest version of the files, and so um, I recommend that you download this as well. Um, but this sorts out a number of problems with missing uh, MIDI files and uh, various things that have been reported in the bugs section. So let's get back to the, the manager software. Click download, which, as I say, takes you to the forum. Um, so here's the announcement and so this is for 1.32 um, it's the first version of the BeatBuddy manager software um, just highlight this is a beta release and also to highlight it's currently Windows only I'm running this on or I'm going to be running this on a Windows 7 64-bit uh, 3 gigahertz quad core processor it is possible to install it on an XP machine um, and I will give the link in the description of where on the forum details of how to do that are. However, it can't cope with a dual core processor and it hammers whatever processor you've got. So it's very so it's useless for auditioning beats, but you could put a, a set together. However, I suspect as XP is no longer supported by Microsoft that the Beat Buddy team will not be supporting XP going forward but as we're currently waiting for a Mac version and if you've only got an XP then that might be um, a solution for you. So to download this file how to install you can read this but this is actually what I'm just going to show you so you click there and then you click download I've actually already downloaded this which is here on my um, on my desktop. So we open up the BeatBuddy Manager 132 and then you just click install. Then you need to accept the license agreement. I'll just go next and install. Go finish and then it wants to install the this next bit which is where all the data will be stored so the Beat Buddy Manager software can actually use it and there we go the Beat Buddy Manager software is now installed so we can close that and then we can launch it and when you first launch the Beat Buddy Manager software it's got nothing in it because we need to import the data that is on the SD card so as long as your your Beat Buddy is currently connected so there we go that is it's on my removable disk J you go to import import project from pedal and when that opens up it asks you to browse for the pedal SD location so all we do is select folder um, at the root so as long as you see that go select folder and then it will want you to save it somewhere so we can save it anywhere you like and give it a name a project is all the files so all the songs and all the drum sets that you actually have within the beat buddy itself and if I could type correctly so we'll just call it default project which is probably what it was going to call it anyway 
And now it's going to unpack the files from the Beat Buddy into the location on your on your computer, which is normally within documents. My computer's a bit of a mess, but called BB Workspace. My document. So it's within your area. So you have a default, which is where it's putting all the data at the moment, and then whatever you create, you'll put into your user library. That's the way that I understand it at the moment. Currently, we all just need to figure things out as we go along. So I'll catch up with you when this is done because it can take a little while. And there we go, the Beat Buddy Manager software has now imported the SD contents from the Beat Buddy into the software. So it just says, do you want to open the imported project? Go yes. And there we go. And then it asks you this question, do you want to link imported project for future synchronization? which means that any changes that you make within, so if we click yes, any changes that you make within the BeatBuddy Manager software will be reflected back onto the SD card or within the project itself. Um, so I normally go yes. And so there we go. We've now got all the songs in their various folders. And so you can click on them and play them. You can use the virtual pedal. Just like if it was a real pedal. So next I'm going to show you how you actually use the manager software to create um, a set list of gigs um, and change and do various things with the program. So I hope you found that really helpful. I'll see you in a bit.